Hi everyone, so we're going to do an, an example on use dates with arrays. So I'm going to make a brand new folder. Um, I'm going to call it in pages. I'm going to make the new folder called use state arrays. And inside here, I will do an example one. And I'll set up uh, the default template. And above the export, I'm going to be importing the use state. What I'll do inside this export is I'll set up the use state. And in this use state, I'm setting it up as an empty array. You denote it by still doing use state, but inside these rounded brackets, you just put these square brackets, the opening and closing square brackets inside here because now we're denoting that this must be of some type of array. And what I want to do is on a button click, um, I'm going to add to the array. And what I'll do is in order to see what's in the array, I will call the item in the array. And what I'll do is on click on this button, whenever someone clicks on the button, I'm going to perform some sort of action. And what I'll do is I will set the item to pretty much overwrite and just repeat the same thing and just call adding in the actual array. So it's not going to update the array, but it'll just keep on adding the same thing and rewriting it over and over and over again. So it'll just set the item to adding. So let me save that and I'll go to my browser. And as you can see here, we have a button called add to array. So when I click on it, you can see here that it's just going to say adding. Every time I click it, it's the same message. If I go to console, um, you might not see anything right now, but if I go here, back to the code, and I do a console.log item, then we'll see it console log out every time I click the button. So let me refresh the page, and you can see it's initially empty. When I click on add to array, you can see now that it is still writing adding every time I click the button each time it's pretty much just overwriting itself.